Hey, this is Rick Kasalich, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through quick, easy, effective hip pain stretches. And I'll get Jenna to go through the first one, then I'll go, in go through it in detail, and then I'll show you the other five that you can end up doing. Perfect, so the first one ends up being a standing hip flexor stretch. So I'll get you in standing, yeah, sort of, yeah, and then, and then so you're gonna take uh, kind of like almost like a back lunge or reverse lunge, and take a step back, front foot is flat, front leg is slightly bent, you've taken, you brought the leg back, um, soft knee, this foot, you're on the ball of the foot, and you're gonna, you're gonna contract the abdominal area, so you're gonna brace that, you're gonna contract the glutes, so you're gonna bring the hips forward, and you're gonna end up targeting that hip flexor. Good, then you're gonna switch sides, exactly. So nice upright body, relaxed upper body, and targeting that hip flexor. And that hip flexor tends to be the most common reason why people end up having hip pain. Looking at that standing hip flexor stretch, sets, reps, time, and intensity sets end up being one, repetitions end up being two, uh, and with the stretches, you're gonna alternate back and forth. If only one hip has hip pain, what I'd recommend is still doing the non-painful hip pain side uh, in order for um, you know, uh, joint health for the hip and also for preventative uh, measures when it comes to, and it ends up being a great exercise. Uh, sets, we talk about sets, we talked about reps. Now time, 20 second hold, intensity ends up being light. So that's the first one. The next one ends up being a 90-90 hip flexor stretch. So front leg is at 90, flat foot, knee, ankle, knee, hips at 90, back legs at 90, looking at the hip, knee, and ankle. Ideally, you want this foot flat. Uh, if you can, it's better to have no shoes so you get that, uh, that part flat even more. And then you saw uh, Jenna put a towel underneath her knee in order to uh, you know, soften things when it comes to kneeling on the ground. Next thing you're doing, you're gonna tighten up that abdominal area, you're gonna tighten the glutes up, you're gonna bring the hips forward, and we'll move that arm out of the way. And what we're targeting here is the quad muscles, so specifically rectus femoris, which ends up cross, it's a muscle that crosses the knee and crosses the hip, and is oftentimes tight and uh, painful with people with hip pain. And they're also targeting the hip flexors, which oftentimes end up being tight and painful for people with hip pain. Looking at sets, reps, time and intensity, sets end up being one, repetitions end up being two, alternating back and forth from one side to the other. Time ends up being 20 seconds, intensity ends up being a light stretch that you wanna end up doing. Now moving on to the third one, this is kind of a progression to the 90-90. So what you're gonna end up doing is getting in that 90-90 position and going through everything, and then you're gonna bring, then you'll end up bring one arm overhead. So we're gonna go, so bring this arm down. We're gonna go this side, there we go. So if I'm stretching the left side, I want the left arm overhead. And the reason why this ends up intensifying the stretch, uh, almost uh, intensifying the stretch throughout the whole body. So you'll end up feeling it stronger stretch in that hip flexor, in the, in the quad, and you'll probably carry over into the abdominal area and I'll get you to relax. Uh, Jenna, I'll get you to face this way. Okay, good, so we switch sides. So you're going through all that other, other stuff when it comes to 90, 90, tightening the abdominal, you're tightening up the glutes, bringing the hips forward, bringing the arm overhead. That'll end up intensifying the stretch in the quads and in the hips and in the abdominal area um, as well. So with this one is just like the other one when it comes to sets, reps, time, and intensity. Sets, one, repetitions, two, time, 20 seconds, and intensity, looking for a light stretch. Now moving to the third one, uh, it's another variation of the 90-90 hip flexor stretch. Uh, it ends up being, um, I mean, we're just, the 90-90 hip flexor stretch is, is an excellent exercise. Now we're just adding variations and targeting different uh, muscles in the hip that tend to be tight and that lead to hip pain. So the next one ends up being side bending. So we're doing 90-90 hip flexor stretch with side bend. So we've got all that other stuff going on. 90-90, uh, 
Uh, you're gonna tighten the abdominal area, tighten up the glutes, bring the hips forward, then you're gonna bring the arm overhead, and then you're gonna add a bit of a side bend, and that's gonna end up targeting a different part of the hip, and you might even feel it, the stretch deep down in the spine. So by adding that little side bend, we're targeting a different muscle in the, in the hip, which oftentimes ends up leading to hip pain. Perfect. And relaxing, you can have switching sides. So with this one, same thing, sets, reps, time and intensity, sets are one, repetitions are two, alternating back and forth, time is 20 seconds and intensity ends up being light. So that's the 90-90 hip flexor stretch with side bend and I mean give it a go it'll end up tar you'll feel it target things differently in your hip area. Now we're moving into the fifth one and it's it's a continuation of the 90-90 hip flexor stretch. So remembering all the other things that we've talked about 90-90, 90-90, tighten the abdominal area, tighten the glutes, bring the hips forward and then we feel it in the in the front quad and the hips. Then Jenna's going to bring the arms out and then she's gonna rotate her upper body to the side, and we're going in. So what I mean by in is she's moving away from the leg that she's stretching. And she wants to go no more than, I mean, she can work her way to like 90 degrees, but ideally it ends up being 45. So if this is straight ahead, she ends up looking at going at 45, and it ends up targeting things in the hip differently as well, because the hip ends up moving in all three planes of motion, and a lot of times people will just stretch in the forward direction and they ignore the, the transverse or twisting plane of movement. And that's what we're doing here. We're hitting that twisting plane. And Jenna, you can do exactly what Jenna was doing. You can have the arms out in front, come out to the side, get that stretch, come back to the start. When it comes to sets, reps, time and intensity ends being a little bit different with this one. You got, you got uh, one set, repetitions. You can end up doing like two to four because we're going in one direction and the hold isn't as long, so the time's not as long. It ends up being about five to 10 seconds. Intensity ends up being light. Now moving on to the last one, the sixth one, when it comes to a, a hip pain stretch, same thing with the 90-90. Now we're rotating, now we're twisting out. And once again, we're gonna feel, we're, we're stretching things differently in that hip area. So she's, Jenna's gonna hold it for a few seconds, come back out front, and then back to the other side. And just like what I said, you wanna ideally kinda go to 45. So this is zero, this is 45. If you can move all the way to 90, great, but you don't need to force it. We're looking at feeling a light stretch and a different kind of stretch in that uh, hip area in order to help with the hip pain. Now when it comes to sets, reps, time and intensity, very similar to the one before, one set, uh, repetitions can be two to four. Time ends up being uh, in like five, like a couple seconds that you end up holding, like three to five seconds, and the intensity ends up being light. So there you go. That ends up being the list of quick, easy, effective hip pain stretches. I know there ends up being a lot of them, but I really recommend that you end up giving them a go because they end up targeting things differently in the hip and loosening up different tight muscles in the hip in order to relieve and deal with your hip pain. Uh, now, if you're still suffering from hip pain, you want some of my best tips and tricks when it relates to overcoming hip pain, what I recommend you do is click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Hip Pain and Tightness. Just click right here, let me know where to send that brand new free report, and I'll send you that brand new free report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, or smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash hips. Uh, let me know where to send it, and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And then lastly, hit subscribe in order to get future pain relieving videos.